guys, how are you doing? You can likely see it. It's one of those vlog style videos again. And our current test car is the Mercedes AMG GLE 53. And we are on our way. You can already see it Autobahn again to Hamburg. And we will have a look at the McLaren 765 LT today. But I guess we have a few seconds to look at this test car before I will give you a more detailed look in the videos later on. Um, as said, 53, which means it's the six cylinder with 435 horsepower a bit boosted by some electric adjustments and it has quad exhaust which actually sounds pretty nice not only the tone out of the exhaust is pretty nice although that got an OPF but specifically also those pops and bangs which are coming out as said you will see that in the full sound video and acceleration video very soon let's hop inside get on the Autobahn direction of Hamburg very very much looking forward to see the 765 LT Actually, there's an i30N Hyundai in front of us. Ooh, that really sounds aftermarket-like, not even stock. Oh, that's the GLE. You know this place here, the GLE is just in front of the McLaren and Hamburg building and you already hear a sound of a 720S back there and we will walk inside now to get a first glimpse at the 765 LT, really looking forward to show you that car. There, the 765 LT should be parked right behind there, and we can already see a very aggressive design, a very low front end uh, carbon parts, very similar to what is on the 600 LT, and also a color that goes in the direction of the Nardo Gray that you already know from Audi cars. Um, very astonishing vehicle. You know that we have driven the 720S and there's also a video of that car on our channel and uh, this is more or less the sports version, the GT3 version of the 720S uh, which is very aggressive, has a lot of lightweight parts and of course uh, LT not only stands for lightweight but also for this long tail because this is a specific portion of the McLaren's which is different and um, the uh, rear spoiler is enlarged compared to the standard vehicle and also of course um, there's a lot of air vents in here carbon fiber parts at the side and you can really see the tire right through there and this monstrous diffuser right below the transmission that you can see. Of course something which is very special about the 765LT is that quad exhaust um, and I will already play you in some of the b-roll footage which which McLaren has provided that you can also see the flames uh, at the dark at night and also hear that sound once the car is flying by there's some very amazing footage where it's also drifting at very very high speeds showing the capabilities that this car has <laughs> Let's get a glimpse inside, open up the doors, which is of course very similar as to the standard 720S. 
but if you look inside you can see a big difference in the trim level and um, those are the center seats again which are extremely lightweight and as you expect there's a lot of Alcantara inside not only on the steering wheel and also the center dashboard but of course also the door inlays um, are ex very exclusive by colored some nice little details like the 765 LT which is also in the standard dashboard in there and of course the Alcantara which is in this bicolor orange and gray looks really nice um, sat nav everything else in the center console looks very familiar from the 720s of course there's not a much difference in there but of course also that view on that nice um, let's say dashboard once you would do an acceleration run with this car would be simply amazing on the autobahn and as it's folding down from the standard and having this carbon fiber look is also very very nice a feature which is also very 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 nice I'm crumbling inside here is that you actually have this feature to see inside the engine so there is not like on the 720s only a window from the outside but here there is more or less a window into the engine bay from the inside as well and it's illuminated so not only at nights you can see how the engine is working i think that is such a cool feature and it's such an exclusive car that you can see here there's also 600 lt and also the predecessor 675 lt and a very special wrap in here getting this side profile as well. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of those wheels and there might be also some different ones because they could be all black uh, for my personal taste, but they still hold those nice and big ceramic brakes. And of course, also from this angle, this long tail and super large spoiler plus the quad exhaust just looks amazing. Uh, we will actually walk further downstairs and get some sound footage of some 600 LTs cars and some other cars down in the garage. myself a nice McLaren t-shirt and let's hop into the GLE and uh, get back onto the Autobahn to the southern German destination which is next. Yeah. 